Hello everybody, Steve 3 again with another inscription Casey's mod run. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's begin with the challenges. So, uh, let me go through the challenges real quick. Grizzlies, who cares? Uh, squirrel fish, okay, we got this. Weak start, doesn't affect us. One candle, doesn't really affect us. Maybe on the boss because we don't have the smokes. More difficulty, this is really bad. Two of them, the normal fights. I think we're gonna die in a normal fight and not in a boss fight. No boss rares, eh. It's bad, but not that bad. All totem battles in combination with these, these four here are death. Like, all co this is really dangerous. Plus one damage on us. I mean, it is what it is. Boss totems, this will also be very dangerous. Or pricey pulse. I don't care. Uh, one less reroll. This might destroy our deck opportunities. And then two less items. This is the most dangerous one. Like, two less items is what is going to kill us, I'm telling you. And also, we need to draw, like, a very good start here. Need a very, very good shop. Let's go to the painting real quick. Oh, I like that I got a good opening here. Can even go into like that path or this path. I mean, I, I really need a good item. Can I see what this is? This is a flame. Flame into flame. Okay, first of all, painting is not going to be done. <laughs> Forget the painting. We're not doing the painting right now. If it was something extremely easy, I would have done it. But no, who cares? I've been told that the painting items might be good. I mean, I don't uh, really agree. Look at what we got. Look at what we got. I got a corpse maggot, which I always like. Plus a warren. If I if first of all, warren is a very good cockroach target. Like if I put the cockroach on the warren, we will be so good. I will be easily blocking every single lane. And I mean, not block. Mm, yeah, one one turn and the next turn it's over. Actually, no. That's wrong. I can play infinite warrants as long as I have something else to play on the warrants. Because the warrants cannot sacrifice themselves. Yeah, I don't have infinite bloggers. I still like these two though. Like honestly, these are the best. Forget this. Mech. Decent but mech. Wolverine. Forget it. Forget these. I think these are the play. And then like go flame. Try to burn off the ringworm. Then go mantis god. Yeah, then, uh, then, then burn the man's god next, like, triple flame, double flame. If this is a 3-1, then I might be able to beat the first fight. Actually, a 3-1. Will I be able to beat the first fight? If my item is a clock, maybe. How many things do I have to do? I have to flame this twice, maybe. Or, or if I will be, if I am able to somehow give this, I don't know. Let's, let's start this and we will see. Corpse Maggots plus Cockroach is, I think, the main way of we survive. And then maybe Fecundity on it somehow. We need so many things. So let's go with these two for now. I don't think the rest are any good idea. Yeah, gratitude and whatnot. Mm, okay, I think I should start with a Flame. Like, sacrifice. I don't really have any good Sacrifice units. Let's go flame into flame. Let's hope the cock the, um, the ring room dies here. Because that's one of the more important things that has to happen. Actually, maybe I should try to give the please burn the ring worm. Should I go for the ring worm burn or should I go for the mantis god free attack right away? Thank you. Woo! Okay. First RNG part is over. Okay, this is a good sigil for us. I mean, we just play the Mantis God. I don't really need to do anything else. Opponents will slowly start uh, reheating their units onto me. This is supposed to be the plus one difficulty setting. In the deck, there is just a... Um, what's it called? Uh, you can bring in however many you want. Complete control of this match. Da -da 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 I still got complete control of this match. Da -da 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 Trying to somehow play the corpse maggots does not seem to be happening. <laughs> More are coming in. Oh man, this round's gonna last a while. I just realized we almost lost. Please don't tell me we lost. 
Okay, we did not. Oh, panic, man. Here. I would say one cost. If I had the bone choice, I might have one cost as the play for sure. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm chasing, but we'll, sh uh, we'll buy us time. We'll buy us time. Okay, can I get damage here? Nice. Okay, I'm obviously gonna put the damage on the Mantis God. Or will I give the Mantis God sigil to something else? That's the only thing I'm thinking about. <laughs> to the mall. <laughs> Make this a 2 4. Ah. Mm, no, I'm gonna go with the man's cut on the flame. I will try to make this into like a 5 5 1, 6 1. It has to become a 6 1 to give us free wins. Fight me. Okay, we did not draw anything. Skink is there. I guess we're gonna play the Warren. Buy ourselves some time. I know the corpse maggot's about to join. Shh. Shh. You know what I'm about to say. Uh, I think I need to get hit for two. Get hit for two. Ringworm goes over there. Wait a minute. I can play the no. If I play the man's card right now, I'm. 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 It's over. Lose. Good day, sir. The crush maggot goes over there. I play the mad scud here next turn with the rabbit. So I guess we pass right now. And I also draw from this. This card is the mole. Yeah, and uh, this is gonna kill the adder and move the skink to the left. Yeah, I think we're forced to take a hit here. Or I can leave the scout sc skink B. Play the rabbit on the left so that the corpse maggot comes and joins here. And the next turn play the mad scud here. The mad scud is a 3-1. Uh it can attack left and middle and right. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. First of all, first of all, we're not winning if I play the mad scud right away because this thing is chasing us down. But uh yeah, we can definitely do this. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Uh yesterday. A lot of people were um, <laughs> commenting that I missed a free insta win. Did I not just draw that? The mole. Whatever. Block. Boop. Dead. Dead. Take three. And now we win. Yeah, the adder's too late. Adder's too late, my yo. One, two, three. I'm sorry. I did not realize that the man's got a three attack. I, I got blocked there. I, I was still calculating it as if it was a five attack unit. Let's see what we get. Should I go for bone bones in the hope of getting? Nah, I think I should still go for one costs. Ah, da, 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 da. Damage, please. Health. I guess mole. I guess mole, and then transfer the bullfrog on the mole. Make a mole man. Is there any reason to play? Actually, if I bring this up, yeah, I, I need to buff this. If this becomes a 3-5, it survives at least a hit. From the, ma the yeah, from the Grizzlies. Let's go. There is a Sacrifice Pit and Double Sigil and another Flame. We need an item. What? We are dying. We are losing on the spot. We are about to lose. We are about to lose. Well, let's go on and we will see what we will do. I mean, there is no item coming in. So there is no reason for me to play this. There is an item here, but I missed it, obviously. Okay. I mean, insta win. Take those, we take those. Off you go. Yeah, this is the boss fight. 
Okay, time to calculate. I think I have to go here and hope for the best of the best. Like, insects into... I don't even know, man. Like, insects into bees? If I get insects into bees, we're perfect. What are the chances of us getting that? If I go over here, if the flame is damaged, I can create a 5-5 Mantis God. Turn 1, hits all of the Grizzlies, gets hit once. Let's say the rest of the boy dies. Because the rest of the boy is going to be like a mole and a bullfrog or a war and then whatnot. Turn 2, hits another 5. Hits the front line for 5-5-5. Five, five, five. All of them die. The back line gets hit for 4-4-4. Four, 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 because the, the Grizzlies normally have 6 life. Actually, if I have some of these on the board. No, I only have two units that can damage. <laughs> We're dead. I, I don't see how we can get out of this if I go this path. And what can I even sacrifice? I don't have infinite sigils. Yeah, if I had if I had Immortal Mantis God, then maybe I could have gone right. So if I have a cockroach here, which I don't. So the right side does not provide us anything. Even if I get, for example, life buff and make this into a 3-9... It still dies to three hits, and it takes him with three attack. It takes it two turns to kill the front line, and then another two turns to kill the back line. We're not getting any item out of this. I think the only possible scenario is we get something from here. I don't see an out. I don't see an out with flame. Because this is going to be... Let's say that this is not even a card, okay? If this if this becomes a 5-5... Five, five, Turn 1 damages all the Grizzlies. Maybe the Crips Maggot gets a kill on 1. Then the second wave comes in. This gets hit. This dies. Most likely the Bullfrog dies or the Mole dies. Something dies. Then the Mantis God does 3 3 3. Like, I don't even have enough units. And then I need to win Ryan in 1 3. This is not possible at all. I don't know if I'm miscalculating anything, but I don't see how that's possible. I mean, the Adder's gonna take get a kill. This is so bad. Everything is bad. That, that whole lane is completely bad. It would be nice if I could transfer now the adder onto the Mantis God, but no. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Please. Please. Give me. No, no, so close, so close. Uh, okay, I have this. I have, I have um, reptiles. Is that even useful? What do you mean I have reptiles? I mean, I mean, I'm forced to pick reptiles here. Fecundity is definitely staying. Hope for the best. Okay. The good thing is that Fisher's. What was I about to say? I was about to say that Fisher is easy. We're gonna lose, man. Fisher is extremely bad for us. He's stealing too many cards. Actually, the only possible first win would have been uh, Pelt Guy. Not Pelt Guy. The the guy with the Pack Mule because the Pack Mule would give us some cards and maybe we could have somehow made it. Uh, okay, let's let's like fantasize about the dream scenario. The dream scenario is the adder kills a lane. And then the mantis god attacks that lane, damages, damages, survives a hit. The adder dies, whatever is here dies, whatever is here dies. Next turn, I play another adder. Like, I have squirrels already in my hand. I play another adder in this lane. It kills the second, the second grizzly, and then the mantis god does another 3 damage and we win. This is the perfect scenario. Uh, we're gonna skip it and just play the mascot right now and win on the spot. <laughs> uh, lose on the spot. I meant lose on the spot. Whoops, maggots. Okay. First of all, I th think... Should I not care if he steals, like, bullfrogs from me? And then in one turn play Mantis God, clear everything, and turn two just kill everything? That even a good idea. Uh, I think I should just give him Aqua Squirrels, right? These are supposed to be moving around. Well, 
This is not gonna go well. I'm allowed to play the man's god only at the very end. I think I should just play the bullfrog. Just play the bullfrog. Start doing some damage. Let's play it over here. It's a 50-50 on how exactly this is going to go, but whatever. Uh, I know... I know that I can play the Curse Maggots by hand, okay? The thing is that I don't want the Bullfrog to die. Here, I have enough bones for the Curse Maggots now. I'm not gonna play it though. Okay, I can transfer this Bullfrog wherever I want. Now Kingfish is coming in. Okay. Let's give him Nakwa Squirrel. Yeah, no matter how... I cannot transfer that. Oh, I don't care that I cannot transfer that. Yes. Hook it. We take two. Yeah, oh, nice hook happened first. Okay. Uh, I want to draw the adder. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. If I play two adders, one adder here and one adder here, Mantis God is a win on the spot. Ooh, I just need to form the adder up. Nice. Give me the adder earlier than later. Please give me the adder earlier than later. Please. And let's change the bullfrog around. Let's move the bullfrog around. Pass. Boop. I want damage. Tries to hook. Move the bullfrog around. Send this to the back line, please. Oh, I like that I have the warren. And the squirrel here. Oh, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Coming in clutch. Adder coming in clutch. Come on, Adder. No, I don't want them all. Uh, I think I should start doing some damn. Should I? Should I? I don't need to start doing damage. I play the Mantis God the moment I wanted to. And then we win on that same, that exact moment. So we are very chillaxing here. Yeah, he's gonna bait the hook. We're gonna give him a good Aqua Skrill. Ass. And they're slowly also creeping up to the damage line. Yes! I need two adders and we win. So let's play adder numero uno. Just here. Need one more adder. I have a corpse maggots and an adder and a squirrel here. I Next turn. It's next turn. Next turn is the winning turn. So yeah, for now we pass. The fact that this thing might work. Forget the next turn. Safety first. Okay, so Aqua Squirrel into Corpse Maggots into Adder. The thing I'm doing right now does not work. Yeah, this thing, the thing I'm doing right now does not work. Shit. That's a mistake. Because the man's god's gonna do three here, yes. But then it's gonna attack first and then the is gonna kill that lane. I need the multi block in the right side. And then I... Oh, that was a mistake. I did two sacrifices. No, 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 no. I will need to sacrifice next turn too after that. I need something to block this line in. Am I barely losing? It feels like I'm barely losing. How much do I, how many cards do I have? I don't have enough cards here. I have, I think, two squirrels and one more card. Uh, right now I'm thinking how to block this in. So theoretically, next turn I play, draw squirrel, play squirrel, right? The bullfrog goes here, the mantis god goes here. I have to play something here because otherwise um, he will destroy this lane and we die. The mantis god does three damage this lane, then this dies, this dies, this dies. And then at the next turn after that, I will need to play something plus an adder. I, I will need to be able to play another adder pretty much. And all of them are going to be dead, so I will need to have... I need all in all four sacrifices, like mantis god one, Mole 2, or whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever, here too. 
and uh, adder three four i need four sacrifices and right now i have one two three I, if 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 over here in the deck there are two squirrels then maybe we're alive otherwise i made a mistake and we lost i should not have played this adder this adder is completely useless it it costed us two sacrifices <laughs> Well, we can't do anything, so I guess we pass. I need to see if I actually have more squirrels than I thought. I have more squirrels than I thought. Give me this. Yeah, but I think I only have two more left now. Now, if I give him a squirrel, I'm losing one more sacrifice from my side. And also, I'm not even achieving anything because he's gonna play on the spot again what we lose man I, I don't see an out I really don't see an out uh, yeah, first of all we're definitely going for a win here so let's let's just pass and get the win big grizzlies I have even more squirrels in here okay I think we won Go here, go here. Uh, we definitely need to yolo something to the right. Like this. Man's got in the middle. Okay, so we do three damage this turn. Up, three. Okay. Dies, dies, dies. Yes. Yes. We did it. We did it. Fight down, fight one down. Let's go. Dead, and another three and we win. Oh, barely made it, barely made it. Lights out, let's go. Let's go, Leshy, let's go. Oh, if I if I start flaming my... Yeah, if I craft a good Mantis God, we will win. Alpha's good. Especially with fecundity that we have right now, infinite bones. Yeah, let's go with Alpha, and uh, let's hope the Fecundity becomes... Actually, let's hope that Fecundity gets transferred over to the... We easily got this. I mean, I have Fecundity set up on the totems. What am I even thinking about? Easy win. Uh, sorry, sorry. I'm watching something. Okay. Let's go here. Most likely gonna go right. Although I need an item. But getting rid of a card for a bone is good. Especially if we... Yeah, let's get rid of the ringworm next. Do I want a card with a sigil on it? Not really. Not really. First of all, either transfer to the Mantis God, maybe. Now, to be completely honest, I would like to have... You know what? If I transfer this thing onto this guy, we win on the spot. I just need to chase down totems. I'm most likely going to chase down totems. So let's try to get a loss here. Let's go with damage. I mean, I only have a th one three damage unit. The rest are all going to be a fail. Wild bones, I have two five cost bone units. So fail, fail. We won. <laughs> Damn it. It is what it is. I got a magpie. I got a raven with already joining free the I think this is like a lot better. Yeah, this this seems like so much more powerful. Free raven. Free raven. Or fecundity poisonous skink. Wait, do I have fecundity on these guys right now? Skink with fecundity is insane. Poisonous skink might give us a win too. Fecundity skin is insane because the moment the tail splits, the tail then will have fecundity and then I can forever play tails. And uh, you know what? I think I want to pick this up. I think I want to pick this up because I want to be able to assassinate like ravens and some very specific fights that I easily lose otherwise. Let's go over here to throw away the trash. Uh, you are the most trashy card in the deck. I really, really, really want to go to a totem.
This is the this is the thing I was talking about. Uh, well, we're gonna take the insta win here. Man, every time I'm drawing the Mantis God, I'm so happy that it's an insta win. Uh, do I have anything to combine? Nope. Not really. Okay, then we don't go there. As simple as that. Cool. No questions asked. Hmm. Very nice. I guess we go squirrel. Uh, I guess we go squirrel for emergency openings. I mean, the only card, only card that we have that costs three more than one is the adder. So. The Fakan Theater is here, but he has the worst possible sigil against us. I would like to play the Alpha here. Uh, Mole? Yes, we play the Mole to buy time? Imagine losing here. There is a good chance we're gonna lose here, by the way. The way I see this. Play the Mole to buy time. I can't really play anything else anyway. Yeah, and then we're gonna be drawing from the deck until we win or lose. Skink. That was a lucky addition to the group. The problem is that this thing has, you know, this uh, whatever it's called. This is fecundity, though. Yeah, so I can definitely play the skink here. But you pine will die. I can play the skink here. I play the skink in a bunch of places. First of all, the raven egg is the problem right now, because it's gonna be do do doing two damage each turn. Actually, if I play the skink, the tail is gonna have fecundity, right? I think. Regardless, I will sacrifice the tail anyway, so... I would say we play the skink over here. Alpha attacks us, makes us move to the left. No, no, we play the skink over here. Uh, this boulder attacks us, so we go to the right and also block the alpha in. Because I definitely don't want to get hit. So, uh, let's forget, forget this mole completely. Right now, we're about to take three damage. One, two, three. Yeah, we're about to take three damage. And, um... And that's it pretty much. We're just about to take three damage. I can't say anything else. Are we about to take three damage? One from the Podupine, two from the Raven. Block, block. Maybe I should not. Pl Let's play the safe. Let's play the safe. There is no real reason to risk so much. So let's pass. And we're only gonna take two damage. Block that. It is actually for Candidate Tail. Very nice. Now we got infinite tails. I should definitely give two damage flame on the skink. Although. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this is for candy detail. We 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 won. Well, we won even more now, but I try to I meant something else when I said we won. It was a mistake. That was a mistake. Can I even do that? Ah, you know what? Here. Wiggle tail. Hmm. I don't even want to play the adder. Sack this. This is dead. This is dead right now. Let's play the skink here. Mm, I mean, we can play it here. I cannot get rid of the... Oh, I can. Adder. Boop, boop. Here. I can get rid of the adder again. I'll go with the alpha. Because we have infinite bones. And I think we win. This is dead in one shot. We do three damage. This dies in one shot. This, uh, this will die from both of them. And this will also die from poisonous... And I want to see. I want to see if poisonous works like it works in the, in Magic: The Gathering, which is it hits only for one because it already knows that it's lethal, and then the other one damage good the next one, and then that also dies. I hope it's programmed like that, but we will see. Oop, oop, that, that. It does not actually work like that. A bit disappointing, but it is what it is. Let's uh, let's just go for the win. Cuckoo is here too. I'm ready for all the people saying like, I told you, Sift. Poisonous is insane. Poisonous is very powerful. Sift. Can I get the card that I already have? <laughs> nice. Now I get access to the <laughs> this thing. Exactly what I wanted to do. Exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to pretty much not add anything to the deck. 
smaller the deck, the better. Now I just need the carver. I just need a carver. Uh oh. I don't want to trash my deck, but I can't. Yeah, well, first of all, let's go here. Okay. Vulture is here. One of the fights I told you that it was going to be problematic. And it also got the most dangerous thing. The most dangerous sigil. Good thing we have an infinite, infinite bullfrog uh, random blockers. Well, I say good thing, but the thing is, I need to draw something that can win us the game. A bullfrog can attack and then block, but we're going to have a real problem. Actually, wait a minute. I, I, I think I can control this. Like, with the bullfrog trying to move around, if I am letting, like, another mole, if I let another mole in, I think we can control this match as, as much as we want. So, let's begin with this as an opening. I also have the mole to buy us time. Now, this is going to kill us, I know. But we know what's going to join. The Corpse Maggots, which is going to push the Trugavusher to the left. Raven Egg is not even going to do anything. But, uh... But... I'm thinking about trying to block it in. Yeah, I can... Okay, there, there are two choices here. I can either A, try to move and block the Druki Vulture in. Actually, if I play him... Yeah, that's that's not a possibility. Druki Vulture is going to damage us no matter what I do. But it's going to block the lane in. So we go with Bullfrog on the right. And then I would say... Also Bullfrog in the middle here to block in the lane. Us. Oh, lane's blocked in. It's also blocked in. We take three. It is what it is. Let's hope nothing joins. Nothing is actually joining. So now we will slowly wither down the Turkey Vulture. I need to get rid of this Bullfrog, by the way. Do I? I'm not sure I do. Let's play it just here. Hit the hit them all twice. Us. Alpha's coming in. Needs to draw something good. Cuckoo. Blocking the alpha. Yeah, blocking the alpha. As simple as that. These don't give me... If, if I get the Raven Egg here, we lose. Okay, we did not lose. Okay, I won. This is a win. It might take a while, but it's a win. Bullfrog, actually MVP. In this fight in particular, actually MVP. I have to say, I like it. I don't care that another one's coming in. It doesn't matter. Almost lost, but we didn't. I was here. Well, first of all, does this even work? How does this work? <laughs> Do I represent the sigil equal the number of sacrifice made during your turn? This, how, how, how does this work right now, the red heart for him? Well, uh, first of all, because I don't want to lose, we're going to play the bullfrog over here to the left. Just to make sure nothing goes wrong. Which nothing will because we just do two damage. I don't know what I'm even talking about. Now the big question is, do I want to get a copy of a card I have and then also upgrade it, uh, like upgrade it? Or do I want to get double flames? And if both flames are attack, we win on the spot, right? We put them both on Mantis God. What? Oh, wait a minute. If I flame damage the skink once... Twice, obviously, because the flame is already the way I want it. I have a fecundity poisonous that leaves behind tails that are also fecundity poisonous. Uh, what's the boss? I think it's snowing. Is this snow? Yeah, this is snow. So the boss is uh, the final one. The pelt guy. The pelt guy always takes a million hours to do whatever. So I think I will be able to draw the skin and play the skin. We're gonna go right. I know a pelt is trash to add to the deck, but this is... Uh, this here is not as good as Double Flames. Double Flames was really good. I'm not gonna pick anything. Uh, I can't. I can't pick 18 gold up. Do I want a rare though? You know what? Yolo it. The only reason I'm yoloing this is because the Golden Pelts have three life. Damage, yes. 
I would say Skink, to be honest. If I have infinite tails, we win easily. And they are poisonous too, so Skink is really the good choice. And then Mantis God next. Skink for sure here. Yeah. For sure, for sure. I know my plan is to get another totem, but if I don't get the totem head... Nice. I got damage. Very nice. Now I would say Mantis God. Or even Cuckoo. By the way, I have no items. How much does the Mantis God have? 3-5. Should I make this a 5-5? Five five? I think I should. I think I should make it into a 5-5. Five five. Otherwise, should I transition onto the skink completely? I don't think I should. I don't think I should force so much on the skink. Make the Fantasy God a 5-5. Five five. The reason I'm making the Man's God a 5-5 is because I want to hit the first spot with poison and then the second attack against the windows for high damage. Oh, they got... Ooh, they got first block. Ooh, we could draw this king. We win. We won. It's over. And the Man's God right away. Okay. Uh, We super won. I don't see us somehow losing. I, I, I cannot comprehend how we could possibly lose. Maybe this way. Yeah, maybe this way. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I want this king to die. And these things are gonna be... Like, I want this king to get attacked, not die. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Let's go here. Can you bring something in, please? I... What to say? Pass. I want him to play something. Corpse Maggot's gonna join. Can you play something? Thank you, the elk. Thank you. Now we got the combo. So play the skink. Pass. Yeah, we don't kill him, obviously. Kills the skink. It doesn't matter that the tail died. If anything, that was the plan. Oh, easy enough. And uh, now it's over. Ringing tail. Fecundity, ringing tail, fecundity, ringing tail, fecundity, pass, everything dies. Whoop. Dead. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, a bullfrog. Like, who cares? Really? Ringing tail. Ringing tail. Let's play the Mattis God too. What is this even? Stupidity. Uh, for now, let's not play the Mad's God yet. <laughs> I will play it, obviously, but... Let's go... It doesn't matter. This is an insta win. Like, look at this. If I Even if I pass... I, I, I just I just want a proof of concept here. I'm proof of concepting you guys. <laughs> is that even a thing? I guess it's now... I don't even need a unit to win. I don't even need a unit to win. I got the tails. The tails of doom. <laughs> I know I could have got more money if I attacked with the Mad God, but I don't care about money. I'm not going to chase the shop down anyway. If anything, I'm going to avoid them. And still, proof of concept is more important than anything. <laughs> this seems like a win to me, by the way. Ah! I almost lost the words. Why did we get so bad cards here at the end? <laughs> Lashy man, what are you doing? Turkey Vulture? Yeah, Turkey Vulture, what am I talking about? I have a candidate, I have infinite bones. I just hope it's not in my starting hand. In the woodlands we have arrived. Shop. Yes. Shop. I'm most likely not gonna go there because not a shop and also item. Blame though. Shop, get rid of the trash. Item. Flame though. <laughs> shop item. I should not overextend myself. Cockroach is here. Give the cockroach to the man's god. No, no, I wanted to give this to the man's god. Give this to the man's god. And then we get Fecundity Totem. First, I need to get Fecundity Totem on insects, and then... 
play that on the man's god. Should I play the cockroach? What would I give the cockroach to? I could give the cockroach to the corpse maggots for infinite blockers after the fecundity. I think that's the play. First of all, I think I should pick up the cockroach. The basics of the basics is pick up the cockroach or the beehive. Because if I pick up the beehive and transfer it onto the man's god and then we get fecundity on this, then the... Ah. Uh, let's go for the cockroach. I don't know why I'm thinking about this so much. I'm gonna find a place on him for him. Health lice. This is new. I'm not gonna pick it though. Is this? We get the gek. We pick up the gek. Man, fecundity on the thing we have it right now is already good enough. I'm not even sure if I want to transfer it. First of all, we're not going there because I don't want to pelt. And also, this is a good choice. I can throw a card out of my deck, but there is items and items. Yeah, let's go for items and items. First, if the first item is trash. <laughs> we got the scissors. Uh, let's take it. The, the reason I'm um, like negative about it is because, you know, I don't want to pick up a pack rat. So I think we're going to use this regardless. Okay, this means it's the, the hard fight with the vulture. Because it's... Yeah. Oh, no. Not the fight I thought it was going to be. I'm going to take the win, but I cannot use the scissors right now. Uh, let's use the scissors in a weird way. Save tactics. <laughs> now, you might think why I did this while scissors is one of the items I actually want. First of all, there is also the clock, which I care about. <clears throat> and secondly, because I don't want to add trash in my deck, for sure. And this is the most important part of this thing. Not adding trash. Another cockroach or a mealworm. Mealworm is also an insect. I think we go for mealworm. It's a free... Sacrifice. Yeah, I think we more is the play. I'm getting scared. Another item's coming up. Yeah, so many bad items here. I guess Boulder for the clutch uh, survive it survives two hits from them. Oh, Rob, did you us? Well, classic village life. Anyway, let's go on. Ah. Let's see. Flip. Nope. Flip the coin, man. This looks like an easy win. Play the cuckoo. And a cuckoo? Imagine if he also gives us an egg. Uh, anyway, let's go here. Let's hope it's not the raven. I block in the raven. I summon in a raven. It's a broken egg. Uh, yeah, pass. What? I did not know that can happen. Well, I can play the boulder, so let's see what we can draw. Mole. Hmm. Uh, play the boulder, first of all, because I want more items. So let's go over here. And uh, yeah, we do two, we take two. There is nothing to be done here. It's it's pretty simple. I will continue drawing cards from the real deck until I... I mean, I have three turns to play thing, something, right? Yeah, the gecko already arrived. Easy enough. Now we got infinite sacrifices. I want to start damaging that? Not really. I want to play the gek on the left, start eating through the coyote line. Let's get maybe the man's god. Corpse maggots, whatever, it's going to join on the left. <laughs> he supposedly added another unit in the map. Never saw it. Alpha is here. Uh, I mean, I have infinite sacrifices, right? Yeah, I have the gek. Let's play the adder. Let's play the gek. Let's play another adder. Okay, now I have, like, the alpha, so let's play the alpha here. Right, this does three damage each turn. This will slowly dwindle down. Uh, the broken egg kills the cuckoo, then the porcupine comes in. By the way, I'm playing pretty faster here than normal, because I have the definitive three damage each turn, and then I have the gag everywhere. So, the only way we can lose this is if he plays four... Rev uh, this is, first of all, four attack. Yeah, three attack forever, and... Yeah, it it's a win, it's a win. I, I don't even need to explain that much. Um, let's, let's just go... The broken leg killing things. <laughs> That's the most fun part here. Oh no, my infinite thing is dead. Oh no, what shall I do? What shall I do? Oh, it has arrived. It is here. The carry. The mad lad. The one we all know. 
or what he was back in the day. This is the first. This is the first MVP meme carry. This is the skink of doom with poisonous hitting the backline too. What? I'm I'm not accepting a damaged skink of doom. Let's go skink of doom here in front of you. This is if you remember this was like the first of doom we made. It was a skink. Pra. Okay, now from here, let's... Well, this is definitely happening, right? <laughs> so let's go here for sure. Another mealworm? To combine them? Another vulture to, vulture to combine them? I mean... If I combine mealworms, it's a 0-4. If I combine vultures, it's a 6-6. Six, six. Will I combine them? I don't know. Well, let's go for the vulture and we're gonna see. Item, obviously. Wait a minute. First of all... Man, I need one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six bone units. If, if I draw like two... If I draw two bone units and I don't know a random and an, an adder, we're dead. Or a mole, we're dead. Or a warren. Yeah, if I draw, first of all, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we we go for a combined man. The deck is too big. We're gonna die. I, I'm telling you, I, I I'm afraid of RNG more than the items. Like I make, I need to make my hand be perfect. Let's make this smaller. I will find an item. I don't care. I mean, I know I need items, but. Let's get rid of these vultures first of all. That's Kratz. Yeah, okay, you're out. Flame, flame. Yeah, it is what it is. I prefer, I prefer this. Okay, this does not look like a fight we can win. Does not look like a fight we can win. Uh, canine head. Hello. Man, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, man. This, it's dangerous to have too many bone units in your deck. Right, right now. If this was not a gag, if this was not a gag, and it was, okay, maybe a mole, we would not die. If it was the the B thing, I would have blocked the sin. I will continue drawing real cards for a moment here. I, I will play obviously everything here. I, I'm not afraid at all. Uh, although the double attack should scare me a bit. I might not even want to kill this boulder. Okay, let's see what I draw. Cockroach. You see this? If if my first card was not the Gek and was the Cockroach... Actually, no. If this was just anything, we would have most likely died here. I need to get rid of the bone units, man. I need to get rid of the bone units. Uh, This is going to even damage us on real life. This is going to actually real life damage us. Or I need to open up the left path then. I need to draw another real card. Wolf's coming in. Man, all of these will start attacking us. I need to draw something good. Please. No, you see? How close? How close to death were we, man? How close to death were we? This is more dead than I thought it would be. Uh, I don't want the, this. The wolf coming in will do more damage to us. Not the dire wolf. So... I would say we don't kill the point. Actually, the wolf's gonna kill us because the gag's gonna attack and die. Yeah, we're, we're still not safe. We're still not safe. I need to draw a bone unit, man. I have infinite sacrifice, but I don't have another bone unit, a blood unit. I have infinite sacrifice, but I don't have bone units to play. So we take three this turn. Uh, pass. Please give me any bone unit whatsoever. Blood, 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 blood. Yes, thank you. It's not good though. It's not good enough. It's gonna buy us one turn, pretty much. No, I'm gonna summon it with a mealworm, so it's by that's gonna buy us more than one turn. And no, one turn. Wait, I can play it here, so it does two damage each turn. It's gonna break down in a moment. That's gonna block the dark wolf. Okay, give me a second to think about this for a moment. So these sh should definitely not come in. So this gag should die. I think I should play the cuckoo here. So we do two damage each turn. 
And we take one and take another two. So we're about to take three. We're going to be here. We're about to do two and take three. So we would be here. And uh, I will summon whatever comes next with a mealworm. Actually, you know what? Next turn I can play the vulture, I think. We're very close on playing the vulture. So... This does not need life. Let's go here. Okay. And I would say, let's go here. And uh, I will also play the mealworm next turn. I mean, next turn we're dead from the direwolf anyway. So it makes no difference. I'm not going to play the mealworm. That would be a huge mistake. As I am about to get enough bones. I'm definitely not going to play anything there. I think I'm calculating everything correctly. Let's go. We do two. We take three. And now I need something good. It's decent. I mean, we have infinite sacrifices, so... Uh... First of all, I can play the Vulture here. Do I have enough bones? I have seven. Yeah, that's, that's a yes from me. So let's go here. That thing's dead. Now the Vulture comes in clutch and gives us the win with 8 damage. It doesn't matter what you do, man. We won. It's too late. It's a too late. Aha! We got the Alpha to join us too. Stupid thing. This game sometimes, man. Bop. Easy win. Not easy. Not easy. Let's not say easy win. Okay? Let's not say easy win. <laughs> Uh, let's go here. Let's maybe get a... Um, I guess a slither. Because they are fecundity. A bullfrog fecundity. Fecundity bullfrog is infinite bones. Infinite bones is... We won't lose because of lack of bone units. I need to draw fecundity to get infinite sacrifices. Other than the gek, obviously. Uh, max life. Max life. I would say... To the Mantis God. As it's a 5-5. Five five. I could give it to the skink too. Is there any point to giving it to the skink? No. Why would you give it to the skink though? I don't know. Let's go with the mantis god. Is that a good idea? Let's give it to the mealworm. Nah. Let's give it to the mantis god. Make sure it never dies. Um. Yeah, because if I had like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's go with the mantis god. Make sure it can't die. In case I need to do the tactic with the, with the thing, you know. Let's get damage here if we're lucky. We are lucky. I guess Cuckoo. Right now I have three units that win insta win. Uh, we have three insta win units. Actually, this is not an insta win, right? These are. So I'm thinking about bringing the Cuckoo in to get one more insta win part of the group. Because I could also make the Mantis God into a... 7, 9, so that it will clear the board every round. Like, in two rounds, everything's dead. But I don't think that makes sense. I think I should make the Cuckoo into 4, 2, to have another unit that can do something. On the other hand, the final boss, I just need to do one shot on everything and win. And let's go with Man's God. Cuckoo is part of the stabilization team. This is not the stabilization. I'm not building a stabilization. Yeah, a Cuckoo is part of the stabilization team. Yeah, got it. Can I draw my Skink of Doom right away? No. No. No, I cannot. B wolf, that stinks. I can win in one turn. <laughs> and lose the Mantis God in the process. Mm. I'm thinking about... Yeah, we, we just try to buy time. If push comes to shove, I just play the Mads God. So we're now going to start playing, drawing real cards. Yep. Alpha. Uh, we're still okay. We take three, right? How many bones? I think I have like three bones. Pass. Plus three to us. Very nice. I have a boulder on my board. Let's draw this. Let's play the Mantis God. As 7 damage is not a win right now. It's not even 7, it's 6. Even better. 
Kills also the pack mule. Love dead. Kills the back line too. Okay, we got an adder. Yes, 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 yes. He gave us an adder. It's a win. It's a win. It's over. We won. We won. Yo, Leshy. We can we can expedite this. No, 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 no. We didn't win. We the man's gonna die. Cancel that. Cancel. 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 Abort everything. Uh I need another fecundity something. First of all, I forgot to create infinite bones. Yeah, I need to create infinite bones. I know, I know, I know, I know. I made a mistake. Okay, I'm gonna create infinite bones. Don't 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 stress it. Let's go. We got the gag. Yes. Yes. Now we did actually win. So plan is infinite gags block infinite grizzlies. And um yeah, that's that's the plan. That that is actually the plan. So just do that. Infinite gags, kill infinite grizzlies. Uh let's also create infinite bones while we're at it. Nah. I think those are enough. I mean, yeah, I think those are enough. I mean, I have a Greg. I can create another infinite bones when I need to. Pass. Bop, bop, bop. Easy win. I was gonna ding all of them. Actually, he's not even gonna ding. This this fight is easier, man. This fight is easier than the normal fight. I mean, I, I was ex I, I was expecting this to go a bit different, but it doesn't matter really. Pass, easy win. Boop. And I even panicked. And I even panicked, man. I'm sorry, guys, that I panicked. I know sometimes I'm lethal, but I was not thinking clearly. And uh, now that I am, we got the win. Let's see what we can get out of this. How many mealworms are we gonna get? Kingfisher is complete trash. Raven. Eh. Eh. I guess we go with mealworm. Man, I have too many mealworms. Too many mealworms. But then what? I'm gonna draw the raven. You know what? I prefer to draw the raven. To be honest. Like. Yes. Give me the raven. At least if I have infinite gex, I can play the raven. So, we're almost winning here. I think I go for item. I could also sacrifice something, obviously, on something else. I have been told a million times to transfer a mealworm onto anything with fecundity. So, if I... Because it can then eat itself again and again. And it also has to have a sac blood sacrifice. So, if, for example, if I transfer the mealworm the bullfrog, then the bullfrog... I can play him again and again and again on himself. Again and again and again and again. And then he's gonna become like a... You know, a... 2020, uh, 2040 or something. I think that's my... Should I do that or should I go for an item? Should I do that or should I go for an item? Let's go for that. Let's go for that. Let's create another insta win card. And um, yeah, let's go for that. One more card, which the moment I draw it, I win. Where's the bullfrog? Is there anything better than the bullfrog? I think not, right? This is a slither. This is a slither, but we're not gonna do it on something that costs more than one. Yeah, there is nothing else. Where is it? Mealworm. Into the bullfrog. This is an insta win card, by the way. So right now I have one insta win card, two insta win cards, uh, three insta win cards. Yeah, I have four instant cards. So I have four cards, which the moment I draw them, we win. Like, the second we draw them, we win. What is it, Lashy? What is it, Lashy? Another flame. I did not know that this fight also gets a totem. And it gets evolving? Are you crazy? This fight has mantis gods in it. And this is for the Mantis Gods. Oh, we got the, the Gek. Well, regardless that we got the Gek. The main problem... I think I should block in the Mantis God, like, for sure. So, let's play Gek into Cuckoo. Okay, Mantis Gods block then. Gek into Gek. Into Gek. I need to get rid of the... The Mole Man. As fast as possible. Bop, bop, bop. I like that we draw the gag first. 
Well, Gak is actually not an insta win, but it's a very good blocker. It's here. It has arrived! Children, it is here. The infinite Wolfrog is here. The most powerful card in my deck right now. Eat, Bullfrog, eat! Eat as much as you desire, Bullfrog! Become more powerful, Bullfrog! Become more powerful! Look at this! Look at this! 9, 12! 10, 12! 11, 11! Now you might say, Sift, what are you doing? I can create infinite of those! I can create as many as I want of those. I am power incarnate. <laughs> then she's like, I'm gonna slam you. I'm, I'm, I'm about to do it, man. I'm about to do it. Can you stop? With I'm about to slam you, man. <laughs> uh, I can even power up the mole, by the way. I can do like this here. <laughs> Super mole. I'm not doing it because I don't want to lose it yet. Let's, let's go. I'm gonna leave this gag exist. I don't even know why. For the memes? There is no there is no rhyme or reason behind getting that, keeping that gag there. Uh let's let's make this like I don't know, a 5-5. Five five. Is he gonna play a grizzly? Are we are we waiting for the grizzly here? 714. Go. Dead. Insta win. Lights out. Stumps. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, we're good to go. Would be nice if I could have fed the cuckoo some things. Well, we're about to lose everything here because I'm about to slam us. But uh, do we care? Not really. Other than the fact that it's stupid, but whatever. Backland's dead anyway, so we nothing is even coming in. Which might be actually worse. Imagine if we soft lock here. Amara. I don't even know these units. Mass. Go fish? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh no, my gold! What did he bring in? Scene. Okay. Scene. And Scott's here. Pass. Take my gold away. Oh no! Scene. Okay, insta kill. Skink of Doom. I mean, do we even care? We win. Uh, I'm not gonna take a million hours here. I just... <laughs> wrong bullfrog, by the way. Uh, just play the Mads God, man. It's over. We won. We won. I just I just go with the safety option, you know? By the way, I made a mistake. I should have fed the Mantis God with whatever I'm feeding the bullfrog right now. Man, my... I'm a bit too fast for my own good. Okay, we won. Let's pass. That's it. Final fight with the moon. Easy win. Yeah, photo shoot. I don't see how we can possibly lose. Okay, that's a moon. Ah, oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's one-shot the moon, please. Time to one-shot the moon. And not only will I one-shot the moon, I will also backline one-shot Leshy. I don't want him to do anything. So, uh, Mantis is doing 21 damage, so I just need to do another... What is happening? I just need to do another um, 21 plus 7. You know, I just want to one-shot this because... Be only and only because of the fact that this is supposed to be the hardest of the hardest challenges. And I want to one-shot the moon in it. That's that's my only reasoning here. <laughs> my only reasoning of memeing it up. So this 21, so I need 19 more, right? 19 plus 21 is um, exact lethal. You know what? Forget exact lethal. We're going to do one more. 20 plus 21, 41. And then the bullfrog kills the fleshy. We win. Easiest challenge in the game. I mean, it's not the easiest challenge in the game, but... We beat <laughs> this is like <laughs> this what is this? Developer console augmented what o or argument of out of range exception index what out of range must be non negative and less than size of collection parameter index. What does that even mean? 
uh, misplace clear, I guess clear. Got everything. I guess because some of them are out of screen. Victory. Continue run. What? What do you mean continue run? First of all, let's go to the unlocks. Devlog. Yeah, nothing is here. Nothing new. What do you mean continue run? Explain yourself, game. Explain. I'm gonna trust it. Okay, continue running. Development console, index out of index range exception, index was out of bounds. We we bugged out. I'm scrolling down, I'm pressing S, W, I'm pressing the buttons that normally, you know, look right, look left, or go back. No, nothing is happening. Escape works, though. And run? Start screen? I have 30 gold, so this is my previous run, actually. And victory. By going back in the start screen. But the continue run is still here. Am I gonna walk even more now? Okay, we're gonna say that this means that it bugged out. <laughs> Uh, not only that, but we're gonna say that not only did bug out, but Leshy was like, I think that's like, let's obviously it's a bug, right? But we're, we're we here in Sift Village <laughs> are going to say that this is canon, canon lore. After you beat every single challenge, Leshy lets you leave his cabin. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that it's canon lore, guys. It, it he crashes. He's like, how how did you, how but but how but but you have no items. But, but you had one life. <laughs> anyway, uh, we win how we <laughs> we do what we always do. <laughs> and then in the brain, I don't even know what the, the things from there. <laughs> we get fecundity and we win these. And now I've been told there is an extremely super hard challenge. I'm not gonna. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it next because um, I I'm forcing myself into harder challenges again and again and again and again. And the thing is, a lot of people are asking me about the tier list on this. And for me to do a tier list, I need to use all the cards at least once, you know? If I use a card at least one, I card at least once, I get, like, the feeling of the card and how it works. So, right now, I cannot... I, I have no idea how powerful or not... I know the card, okay? I know what the cards do. I, I'm searching forums... I'm not forums. I'm, like, looking in the Discord. I'm asking people. I know what the cards do. But uh, I haven't played them. So... Uh, some cards that I didn't play, like the, the, the field lice, the, the pelt lice, and the, the 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 card with the question mark, and then I think to, the thing with the bone attack, as many bones as you have, so much attack it has. So there are some cards that I have never used, so I want to. In my idea, there are two things now that I have planned. Plan one is to do the super ultra hard challenge at some point. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after that, maybe in a few days, because I'm ch I'm doing challenge after challenge after challenge after challenge, and all the runs are the same. I'm sorry that the runs are similar, because that's how you win, man. Did you, did you see how hard this was? Especially the first one, we were very lucky that we got fecundity. I don't even know how we would have beaten the first one with only a squirrel as an item. You know, you have to be very lucky. You have to get good items, you have to get a good path, you have to get damage, because even if you get a snip, even if you get a, a hard glass, you won't beat the Grizzlies right away, right? You have to still be able to do like yesterday. If you remember yesterday, we beat the first Grizzly fight exactly lethal. Like, we had exactly 5 damage. So, we were really lucky today, uh, obviously. And the thing is, the higher challenges we go after, the more streamlined it's going to be what we're going to be doing. Like, it's going to be always be the, sim the similar thing. And I know a bunch of people want to see some new things. I also know a bunch of people want to see challenges. So... My idea is I will do at some point the very the extremely hard ultra hard challenge, which is to surrender two times in a row so that Leshy, instead of giving you two pelts to start with a shop, gives you an what's it called? A ringworm and an opossum. That's like a punishment. If you surrender right away, you know, if you just the, the moment the run starts, you do like this, boom, instantly end run. If you do that, then um I'm I, I think I'm gonna end run here like what happens if I end run? You know what? If if my run is a loss, then so be it. We go and run. It's a victory still. And is it still continue run? Can I just new run? Starting new run will end your current run. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Yeah, I'm, I I will proceed from a start new run. As simple as that. So um, let's continue here with the bug. Oh, it bugged out even more. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Even better, you know, even better. Leshy, uh, this this is canon, by the way. This is actually canon in my mind. This is Leshy leaving the table at this point. He's like, okay, I'm done. Bye. <laughs> no table, no nothing. I forget the sprites. Anyway, I was saying, 
I know a lot of people want to see challenges. I know also a lot of people want to see some unique things. And I also know that uh, m some people want to see a tier list. So for me to play the tier list, I have to use the cards. And for me to play the cards, I have to be a bit more relaxed. I'm not going to play uh, with no challenges at all. Maybe I will. I don't know. I I'm going to see what I will do. I want to play a bit more cases run, but cases mod, but I, I want to experiment a bit, you know, I want to be a bit more laid back, a bit more, um, you know, relaxed, have my candles, have my smokes, be sure that the boss are not going to destroy us and use the cards to see what they do. And then after that, I most likely go back to modding, modded discord. I'm, I'm most likely going to go back to modded, um, inscription after that, but we're going to see, we're going to see, but right now we have beaten cases mod. It's over. We did every single challenge. We did everything in the game. We did the most possible hard challenge. It's so hard that for some reason it crashes the game. As you see, it's a bugged out challenge. Can I run out of this? I can't even uh, sit up by the way. I'm, I'm pressing any button possible. Even as I said, scroll wheel and whatnot. You cannot, you cannot. Oh, this, this works at least. Yo, 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 uh, Leshy, you forgot the totem. Anyway. Uh, yeah, as I said, we beat Cases mod. It's over. We beat every single challenge. Not only one by one, but we also beat them all together. Obviously, it was going to be the way we always beat everything. Fecundity and powerful units. And not a small deck, though. <laughs> Man, that, that turn... That turn, we we, we almost... I remember, I think the hardest turn was the one where we had a bunch of bone units. Like, we barely made it that fight. I'm telling you, we almost lost this run. I, you, you can't even imagine. Anyway, um, I think that's going to be it. We were lucky, once again, Fecundity saved us. We never made the Mantis God Fecundity, but in the end, I don't think it matters. If anything, better. If anything, we got the Skink of Doom in here, and we got a bunch of other things. Anyway, I'm digressing. That's going to be it. If you enjoyed the run, dropping a like helps always out. And um, yeah, that's going to be it pretty much for me. I hope you guys enjoy this whole run. We're obviously going to continue the series. I'm not going to let description. I love this game. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.